Hi guys, so look at this question here. This question is uh, about compound interest and uh, we can mix allegation to solve it very efficiently, right? So solve, uh, look at this good concept of uh, compound interest make, uh, combined, coupled with allegation. Okay, so we have studied quite in detail about allegation, those uh, weighted average, those seesaw math method, right? So now let's do this in this uh, compound interest. Okay, see how we'll apply this here. So a person deposited some money in two banks A and B in the ratio 13 to 10 for two years at the rate of 20% and 10% respectively. Okay, fine. So now, uh, and it is compound annually. Okay, so if the total interest is 5100, right? So let me just draw a quick seesaw here. Okay, as I showed it, as I told you in the videos also, it is same as allegation. I think and not much difference. Okay, so it's a part of allegation, but not that exactly allegation map, right? So we have studied this in detail. Those who are new, they, they can refer to allegation videos here in the main, uh, in the arithmetic section. Okay. So now a person deposited some money in two banks A and B in the ratio 13 to 10 for two years at a rate of 20% 10%. That means it is compound interest, right? So 20% in two years will give a combined interest of 44% that we all know. Anna? So this gives a combined interest of 44%. I can use successive percentage change also. Okay, similarly, compound interest at 10% for two years will give a combined interest of 21%. Again, we know this, right? Because in compound interest every year, if it is compounded annually, so principal changes every year. So one for the next, this after first year, now 120 is the new principal. Okay, and now 110 is the new principal, right? So now in the next, in, the, in second year, the 20% increase is on 120 and 10% increase is, is on 110 here. Okay. Fine. So now this, he deposited some money in two banks A and B in the ratio 13 to 10 and for two years at the rate of 20 and 10. Fine. So what I'll do here guys. So in one side, he's getting a total interest of 44%. So one side of seesaw, I'll place 44% here. And, he, and, and on the other side, he's getting on the other amount, he's getting 21% interest. So I'll put 21% here. Okay. Now here, I don't know what is the, uh, I don't know what is the, uh, this uh, combined interest here in percentage, I don't know. Um, amount I know, right? This 5100. That means I need to equate with that. But the ratio is given, right? So what is the ratio here, guys? So ratio is 13 is to 10. That means if this is amount for, um, uh, for bank A and bank B, so for bank A, the ratio of the weight is 13, right? So the seesaw which I put here, the ratio for the weights is 13 is to 10. Okay. Now, so I know that, but I know I need distance ratio, right? So when I, once I need distance ratio here, so distance ratio is what? 10 is to 13. Again, we have studied these things in quite de in detail in arithmetic allegation chapter. You can watch that. Okay. So it is 10 is to 13, right? So now at what I can do, that means a difference of 23 here. Okay. In the ratio of 10 is to 13 so 44 minus 10 is 34 or 21 plus 13 is 34 that means the combined interest is this what is 34 percent combined interest on both the banks a and b and i can directly equate now that 34 percent of total on total amount x he gets interest as 5100 correct so now what is the value of x here so 5100 into 100 by 34 just cancel it one and a half times into 100, okay, and again into 100, that is equal to 15,000. So 15,000 is the answer, okay. So very good application of uh, allegation in compound interest, right? So a lot of, a very good question. Uh, you can just, many people don't think this way, okay. So you can just think like on one, whenever, it's always is an allegation, right? You always have this uh, mixture of two things, okay, com and combine to give a, give a uh, one more thing actually. Okay, so those two things here, are giving third thing here those two money in banks a and b are giving a third thing that is the combined thing okay so always if you see allegation typical allegation questions the what what happens there the there's one quality of rice this other quality of rice and both the qualities of rice are mixed to make a separate qualities of rice. that is the third third quality of rice so wherever you feel this thing and always apply allegation one some money from bank A, some money from bank B, both are used to make a third kind of money, which is the combined part, right? This is the application allegation. Okay. I hope you got this. Okay. Okay. Now also, guys, 
uh, we have this uh, let's LRDA practice event here. So again, it is absolutely free for everyone. Should join. Uh, this test is from 18th March. So 18th March at from 4 to 4:40 uh, p.m. I'll be giving a uh, four sets, uh, and there is a uh, 40 minutes time here to solve for all of you within time bound. So again, one more event we did I think two weeks back. That also informed here. So I keep on inform informing about these events which I'm taking at an academy. This absolutely free. Do give these guys. Okay, very very important. So four sets I I'm I'm uh, I'll be giving 40 minutes time, and just try to attempt at least uh, try to solve at least three sets in that. And the same day in night at seven to eight p.m. we'll have the discussion also. Okay, we'll discuss this uh, L LRD event also. Okay. So do either enrollment link I'll put in the description. Okay. Thank you.